Hey folks, it's Mark and Bob with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining us today. Today we've got the Aero Precision M5E1 AR-10 rifle today, chamber in 308. That's right, and it's a great rifle. We've been working on getting the, uh, the trying to squeeze every bit of accuracy that we can out of it. We've played with the ammunition, and we've got our groups to shrink significantly. We've uh, modified our optics and upgraded those. Now we're taking the next step. Next step we're taking is for the POF trigger pack. Uh, they are boasting a four and a half pound trigger pull on this. It's a single stage. It's pretty light and it's pretty crisp. So uh, right now we're rocking six pounds right on the dot with this. Yep. It's uh, uh, right in there every time. Exactly. And so now if we can lighten this up a little bit more, hopefully we can get our groups down just a, a little bit more. That's right. You know, six pounds is just fine for a battle weapon. Uh, we're looking to use this for hunting and accuracy and bench rest shooting. So four and a half is going to be good. Let's uh, get to installing this. And uh, you guys can watch this soliloquy of uh, random video clips while we're changing the trigger. If you're John Wayne, gritty is good. If you're a trigger, gritty is bad. Go figure. Trigger. It's an official name for a bang switch. Keep your booger hook off the trigger until you're ready to fire. I wear many hats. Does that affect my trigger pull? You be the judge. So we did run into a slight uh, interference fit problem here. The uh, you know it's important to note that the AR-10 doesn't have a mil spec standard, so this isn't going to be necessarily unusual. But we found that when we were inserting the trigger pack, that the holes wouldn't line up because the trigger pack could not scoot forward enough. So we looked at this, uh, the POF trigger and the way that it was beveled and we just noted that we needed to clearance it just a little bit more. So we filed these edges down uh, just a little bit. It had a 45 degree bevel. This has, a, this has a round front surface here and we just needed to knock some of the sharp edges off of that 45 and now our pins line up. So, uh, Here's another random trigger soliloquy while we install the rest of this. So, important to note, like you mentioned, uh, AR-10s, there are no mil no specs. Mm -hmm. So everyone's going to be a little bit different. Everybody wants to have the best. This one, we found that uh, the POF trigger needed just a little bit of uh, refining to get it to fit in there. Right, we tried it in uh, in a couple of AR-15 lowers, it dropped right in, fit just fine, there was plenty of room for it to slide forward, but because of the curved nature of the front of this uh, trigger well on this, it just, it was too tight, it was really close, you know, and they even talked in the instructions about using a hammer, a, a nylon hammer. We resisted the urge and said, you know, let's look at this and figure out what's going on, and then we determined that at the front of that trigger, it has a little uh, 45 bevel, and then it comes around flat, and that just needed to have a little bit more radius to allow it to scoot forward, just uh, just ten thousandths of an inch, and so we just filed that off like we showed in the pictures, and uh, the pins dropped right in. Right in. So, so if you, if you find that you're installing this particular trigger pack into your rifle and it's not lining up properly probably don't want to grab a hammer and just start pounding right away. That's right. And just be aware that um, that's what happens when you start building or modifying firearms and that's what you got to do. Now, here's the problem, Bob. So we took a file to a brand new $200 trigger pack and probably voided the warranty on it. So I, I would think it depends on how the company is, but I would hope and think that we could, if there was a problem with it, we could send it back to POF and say, hey, we had to fit it to put it in there uh, for a warranty issue. But I don't foresee that as a problem, but it's worth noting. You know, a lot of people would be scared to do that and they would just return the part. But we went ahead and took the plunge and filed on it, made it fit, and I think it's going to be fine. Right. Uh, they are a uh, 
a company that's owned by veterans. You know, mm -hmm. they are straight shooting guys. You know, we yep. met up with them at SHOT Show this year. Yeah. And if, uh, if there was an issue, I think we'll take care of it. I think so, too. So we got it fitted in there. It feels really nice. Let's, uh, let's do a trigger test on it now. Uh, once again, it is, it is very nice. And it feels a lot nicer. It feels nice. It, there is a reduction in the, in the pull weight. We're going to see what we got here. Bob just cleared the firearm, made sure that we were safe. And that breaks right at just under four and a half pounds. And it, no creep, just breaks really nice, really crisp. It feels so good. That's a good feeling trigger. Big, big improvement. Yep. So, so let's, let's you, take you, it to the range. You really, you want to shoot it? Well, yeah. Okay, let's get it dirty. That's why we do it. You can clean it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, she dances good. Oh, uh, yeah. So anyway, folks, if you are looking to upgrade your trigger system and you don't want to spend the Geisley money, the POF trigger pack system that they have, the single stage, really is a worthy addition to your firearm. It was very nice. We just had to make a, a few modifications to make it work in this AR-10, which is not out of the ordinary whenever you're working with a non-mil-spec platform, which the AR-10 is but it dropped in there after just a little bit of fitting and it works great and I think it's a worthy addition to, uh, to this firearm and it was our personal money and it was well spent. Yeah, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe, shoot straight, follow the four basic safety rules. And call your mama. You ain't talked to her in forever. And if you're on Instagram, check us out on Instagram. Yeah, do that too. Thanks for watching. Okay. And check out our website.